this card delivery means so much to me because of what it represents. It's not about the car. It's about way more than the car. It's about the representation of going from a darker place, a darker point in my life to a place where I wanted to be. All right, boys. Well, right now it's 30 times entries to win the High Country. This brand new, awesome 2024 High Country Duramax and 50 Gs in cash. And if you notice the theme here, as time goes on, the multipliers go down, but we try to supplement that by offering cool stuff. And this time we're doing something really awesome. We are giving away TVs and gaming systems, but you don't get one or the other, you get both. So if you win a TV, if you get a TV in your order, and any order is eligible, you could get a shirt like this, you could get 10 shirts, or one key tag, doesn't matter. Nicole, our awesome customer service girl, is going to call you and say, hey, do you want an Xbox or a PlayStation? Because we know that you guys out there might only want one or the other. Every order is eligible, and every order counts for you to win the high country and 50 grand in cash. Don't miss out, though. This is only for 48 hours, and then it's gone. So order right now. Link down below, 717 Supply. Dot com and good luck. All right, everybody. Good morning and welcome back. Looking a little, a little, a little, a little shadowy. Let's pop this open. Okay. Good morning. Hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so today's upload is way more meaningful than a normal car delivery. As YouTubers, we take the delivery of a lot of cars, right? And there are some that are really meaningful personally and some that are more for the content. And I'm a car guy, so I love them all. They're all great and I love the fact that my job is to get new cars, like that's really cool. But certainly there are some that mean more than others and this one is by far the most meaningful. Before I talk about why that is, I wanna make sure everyone knows that I'm not crazy, okay? Whenever I talk about something that is challenging for me or something that was uh, maybe a little bit difficult in my life. I always like to say beforehand that I realize I am very lucky. I have my health, I have a great family, I have a job that I love. So I realize that in the grand scheme of the world, I'm very lucky. And when I talk about, I almost feel guilty when I talk about like, oh, you know, this was tough for me because so many people have it far worse. I mean, there's kids in the hospital right now that were born with something wrong with them. So you know, they're far more strong, they're far stronger than me and I realize that I am lucky. So when I talk about something that was a struggle, just know that I keep it in check, right? I realize that this is a very first world problem. But uh, getting into this, so this was a pretty big deal. I mean, let's rewind back about five months ago now. I, I used to be partnered with a, a another company, uh, my former business partner and I went our separate ways for a number of different reasons. And, uh, you know, it was a scary time. I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't scared because I had built, you know, he and I had built this, this thing together and it was all I had known. I put everything into it, my heart uh, and soul into it. And, uh, you know, it was everything that I knew. And suddenly, very quickly, it was gone, right? It was gone. And that was my income as well, all of my income. The channel, I've talked about this before, but YouTube channels today don't really make much money unless you're getting crazy views. But even if you are like a million views today, um, you know, it's probably six, seven, eight grand, and that's a lot. But you know, most of us, especially in automotive YouTube, we don't get a million views um, every video. And even with a channel that I, I consider myself very lucky to get a hundred thousand views every upload or or more. But my baseline is like I never, I haven't gotten a video with under a hundred k in six, seven years. Even a channel like that, you know, my channel makes me, and I'll, maybe I'll pop it up on the screen here just so you know I'm giving you real numbers, I'm not BSing you. You know, my channel maybe makes like 10 grand a month and, and that's good money, but like it takes probably 30 or 40 to run my channel. So I'd be way in the negative if I relied on YouTube. And that's why you see YouTubers uh, in general, but especially in the automotives, in the automotive scene, they do ads, they either have their giveaways, you know, Cletus has giveaways, other people have car giveaways, they sell merchandise, they do sponsored content. You can't rely on the YouTube ad revenue. You gotta sell something, you gotta do something else. And that's smart anyway in life. You should always have more than one income stream. This was, that was my whole income. That was my whole life. Now there's a fly in here that's gonna be really annoying and super, there it goes, really fun for me. You know, maybe it'll go out if I open the door. So that was everything I knew. And I was giving up everything and, and not, you know, I would have kept going if things were different. It's not like I wanted to have to start over, but 
it turned out to be a great thing anyway. I had to start uh, from scratch, had to build my own company, and we had a lot of ups and downs. I mean, the, starting the company was fun, but it was a lot of money to invest in it and a lot of uncertainty. You know, I was going from something that I knew, even if it wasn't as good, you know, I knew it. It's kind of like that old saying, it's like the devil you know is better than the one you don't, but not always, right? I had no idea if it was gonna work. I put a couple hundred thousand into it and uh, it was like, well, could work, could fail. But one of the things I had to do to start my own company and to kind of restart everything was get rid of a car that I loved. I can't even talk, buddy. Yeah. Oh my God, it's real now. Yes, it is. Oh, holy sh dude. Yes, it is. It feels, you know, it feels really good to what I talked about the intro for this upload is like, this feels like I'm getting back to where I was, you know? I had to sell the car, start the company, do all that, but this is a big deal. Finally, the one you want. Yeah, this is the one. <laughs> oh, the one. And it was a car that I, for me is, is everything. And I never would have sold it unless like the perfect spec came along because it wasn't the spec I really, really wanted. Like if push came to shove, I wanted a yellow one, obviously, as you guys know, I like yellow. This car for me is the car. I've been around Bugattis and Paganis and Koenigseggs and all that stuff. And they're really cool. They're awesome. And if I had billions of dollars or hundreds of millions, yeah, I'd probably have a whole collection of them. But this car for me, for whatever reason, I've always loved the brand, but for whatever reason, this is my dream car. It resonates with me and it's the pinnacle for me. Like my ultimate goal in life was to, was to get this car. And I got it. And then I had to give it up. Buddy, look at this car. Oh, guess what? Jeez, what? You got two keys again. Oh, I got two keys again? Oh, hell yeah, that's rare. <laughs> Bro. That's rare. I had to almost kill some people to get that second key. Yeah, well, I know. They're, they're a hot commodity with these. Oh my God, I'm freaking out, guys. This will be an awful upload because I, I won't be talking much, but thank you for everything, man. You got it, Thank brother. you, this is what we do. Yeah, I mean, you sent me the pictures, I've seen it, but like being here is different. Oh, this I is agree. different. This is really different. You know, I had to sacrifice it to start over. And again, first world problem, but it, it sucked because I felt like I was going backwards. And even though I was starting a company, which is a great thing, and it turned out to be a good thing, didn't feel that way at the time. You know, I felt like you know, I was giving up. I reached this goal and now I had to get rid of it because I needed money and I had to go back and, and kind of go down a couple steps and I didn't know. Again, I didn't know if I would ever get back. And this to me represents getting back to that point. This one has the gloss carbon everywhere, the carbon wing, of course the whole carbon rear end into the diffuser. Wow, and the yellow interior, yellow and black, looks absolutely incredible together. This is the spec right here. Now every one of them has the red J on the seat. You can't do nothing about it, but I'll I'll accept it. It's a really big deal for me and it's one that's going to be a forever vehicle for sure. Like again, the first one I wouldn't have sold. Um, my 1963 split window I wouldn't have sold. I had to, I needed money for something else at that point too for the business. But um, you know, there are certain cars that like that's a car for the collection. That's the ultimate car for me. And uh, this is certainly that car. So it was a really big deal. And it came in just in time because I was on a super crazy time crunch to get this car for something very important in my personal life that you're going to see in the next upload. But um, I don't know exactly how many clips I'm gonna put in or how I'm going to reveal it, but here is my new car. truck and you guys saw the b-roll there which is going to be a lot cooler looking than i love the canned water by the way a lot cooler looking but let me put that down cooler looking sorry <laughs> than my gopro footage but here she is my new aventador sbj and again i don't really know why i can tell you why like it's really cool and it looks awesome and it sounds awesome like there's lots of reasons why but i don't know exactly why this car to me is like the perfect car i think because it's a combination of an amazing engine right the last 
just engine V12 Lambo. The new Revuelto has a V12, thank God, but it's hybrid, it's a little different. This is a the last of the raw V12 Lambos ever. Now think about that. Now you go back to the Miura, the Countach, the Diablo, the Murcielago, the Aventador. This is the last one. It's a new era now. It's kind of like the C7 Corvette, right? Like that was the last, the last traditional Corvette. This is the last of a 60 year history of Lambo. It's the most hardcore version of that. It's the most, I know they had the Ultima after, but the Ultima was a road going softer version of the SVJ. So this, this is the ultimate version, the ultimate aggressive version of the last V12, just V12 Lambo, which is pretty special. They only made 900. And again, going back to, like I said, it is just, it's a badass car, right? It sounds incredible. It's pretty fast. Um, not as fast as like my Corvettes and stuff, but it's fast enough to have fun. And just the looks, the sheer sex appeal of the Aventador is incredible. And then you give it the SVJ treatment. It's even wider. The car is about, it's about eight feet wide. It's got humongous vents everywhere. I mean, my garage door is an eight foot door. And it, let me tell you something, with the mirrors, it is close on both sides, as you can clearly see right here. So you give it the SVJ treatment, you get the wider body, the bigger vents, all the arrow bits, you get the the huge crazy wing on the back that has a tail in the middle and an intake there. Like everything about it is just stupid. And that's what car, some cars are all about. It's being as dumb as possible because dumb is fun. And uh, you know, these cars are just, it the doors go up it's it's got it all i mean look at that interior it's as close to a fighter jet as you can get on the street and of course you guys know all of this but those are some of the reasons why i think this is my ultimate car this one boys is a keeper it's not a giveaway my god i would never i would lose so much money but not a giveaway um and not something i'm going to sell this is one for the collection this would have been the car that i bought first but at the time I couldn't afford the right one. I had to get the right deal at that time. So I got the gray one. Now I can actually afford, this is like the one that I would want. This is the perfect spec, as good as it gets for me. So in some ways, actually, it's an upgrade. It's not just getting back to where I was. It's actually a little bit more because this is really the spec that I wanted and very rare because there are, you know, there's a lot of yellow ones out there. Not a lot, but at least, you know, probably 30, 40, 50. Very rare to find one with the black J. Most have the red or they have red calipers or red interior. And I hate, I hate the Ronald McDonald spec. I hate when cars are spec yellow and red. For me, that's a, a no-go. I just, I can't do it. So it was really hard to find one with without that. And I would, in a perfect world, I would do yellow calipers, but I'll take the black because again, there are, I think there were only like, three in the US that were yellow and didn't have a red accent. So it was really hard to find. When this one came up, I was like, you know what? Buy it because there's like three of them. So hope you guys like it. I know the SVJ isn't like a huge content car for the channel, but I do have some cool mods for it, including of course the Gintani system going on. It's got a fab speed on it, but, and it sounds okay, but it needs a Gintani. Like the, that is the setup with the SVJ cars and I have some really insane wheels for it that I ordered for the other car like a year ago and they're over there in the box. You can see them. Um, so I can't wait to get those. I've been waiting like a year to put wheels on a car because I didn't have the car then. So we've got some cool stuff coming, uh, but I know it's not like a huge content car. However, it's a really great car and a cool channel car for shows and all that stuff. So hope y'all are excited. If you're even half as excited as I am, or in good shape. So let me know what you think of the new SVJ in the comments. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night.
gotta stop hitting that button. All right. And all right, go. Like I said, though, this is for 48 hours only. So if you don't enter right now, I don't like why I said that. Wait, I have to refilm everything anyway. So okay, just go ahead and do yours only with. 